From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hello, listeners. This is Roger Charlton welcoming you to another Ropecast. Hi, and this is Peter Tischer. Peter, are you still sitting on cardboard cartons in your new house, or what? It's not as many as during our last rope cast, so I did unpack a few things. But I'm still, you know, working on the fixtures and everything in the house, so it's not ready yet. But do um, you have a kitchen in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, it came with a kitchen, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, we, we bought it with the house. Yes, because in Britain, you know, you, you expect the kitchen to be equipped when you move in. Uh, do you? Oh, no, that's rare, actually, here. So when you pay it extra, you don't expect it. But we were actually happy that it was in. And it also had floor tiles and everything. And the bathroom was more or less fully equipped with cupboards and everything. Yeah. I can well remember, although it's a few years ago, when I first arrived in Germany, mm -hmm. moved into a new place. And I was, I think, it's not an exaggeration to say horrified. Were you? There was nothing there. There was nothing, absolutely nothing. What do you call that? So there was no kitchen? There was no kitchen. And you were shocked to find that? There was cold water in the room that was supposed to be the kitchen, mm -hmm. only cold water. Well, that doesn't shock us at all. <laughs> <laughs> what else had you expected? Uh, well, every room I went into and tried to switch on the light, uh, nothing happened. Then I looked up at the ceiling and there yeah. was just a bit of wire hanging out of the ceiling. Well, that's actually the way my house looks right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm still going to have to go back to the old apartment and take the lights off, the yeah. lamps off. And the next person moving in there will find those wires. What's mm. so shocking about that? <laughs> we were in a house with um, several flats when we first came uh -huh. to Germany. And the next question was, where's the washing machine? And again, uh -huh. we got blank looks from landlord. Apartments or flats, as the British say, they yeah. come with washing machines? Well, if you're sharing a building with other people, you expect there to be facilities, and one of those things would be... Same like the kitchen here. A German would only expect wells, some kind of power outlet, where he can plug in his washing machine, and that's it. And, yeah. of course, a water faucet to yeah. attach it to, but that's it. The other way around, I've heard from a lot of Germans who went over to the UK, either temporarily or permanently, uh -huh. and uh, they were horrified to find carpets everywhere, including the bathrooms. The bathroom? Yeah. Oh, I know that from the US. Yeah, they're very proud of that. But to us, it feels so, well, not very hygienic, actually, yeah. when the, because it gets wet. Yeah. And when something gets wet, we get the idea that there's microbes in there <laughs> developing, partying. <laughs> well, so many houses in Britain didn't really have central heating until recently. Mm -hmm. So I think people wanted something warm for their feet in the bathroom, which had a little heater up on the wall or something okay, like that. Okay, okay. No, nobody would put in carpeting, at least not wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. You'd have maybe these little things on there, but not wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in the bathroom. Definitely not. And the other thing that uh, Germans are surprised at in British houses is um, sometimes there's a fireplace. Uh, we'd love to have one, but we don't. Do you often have one? Well, I know of at least one family who moved into a new house that had gas central heating. Uh -huh. And they said, well, we want a fireplace. Yeah. And so they fitted a fireplace. There was no chimney. There was no use for it. Uh -huh. But it's something else to look at when you're sitting there if you don't want to look at the television. Oh, you mean it's just it's not functional? It had imitation flames. Oh, these electric things? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. What people do nowadays in Germany is they put in a DVD <laughs> <laughs> and they have a fireplace on their flat screen TV. <laughs> but no, we actually, we like fireplaces in Germany, but it's an extra. Yeah. It's not very common. No, no. One thing that struck me when I was in Great Britain were these enormous electrical sockets in yes, the wall. Yes. They're huge. The voltage is not really a problem when you move from place to place, but the, the, the same in, in the, Britain. The, pl and the plugs certainly are different. Yeah, why are they so huge? I mean, you don't need that. Well, then we know which is live and which is neutral because you can only put the thing in one way round. No, we don't. Yeah. The Americans have. Uh, that's a. Very great contrast to Great Britain. They have really tiny sockets and very unsafe. They're not even in a recess in the wall. So that's different there. Yeah. And they have a different voltage. Oh, yeah, that can be a problem too. One last question I want to ask you. What kind of windows do you guys have? Do you have windows like we do? 
Not usually, no. The old, the old houses have what we call sash windows, which slide up and down. Like America, where you only can ha open half of it? Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Depends how old the house is, for mm -hmm. one thing. Um, houses in Britain, on the whole, it's not so easy to clean the windows because the, the windows don't open into mm -hmm. the house or apparently right, they open right. outward. And the ones we have, you don't have at all? Where you can sort of open them completely or sort of pivot them? Very rare. Very rare. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's interesting. I mean, you'd think you'd live on the same, well, basically same continent, but still things are quite a bit different. These are cultural differences. Too, yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. We'll put a few pictures of that on our website, of course. But what do you say, since we've been talking about it, let me invite you to my house now and oh, I'll show you, you in, in love, reality. Love to see it. Okay, and we'll have a little barbecue on the patio. Thank patio. You. Okay. Bye, dear listeners. Bye. been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. <laughs>